I've definitely seen enough bodies to last me a while. It's not like I need a refill of seeing dead bodies, but you can just tell the way someone's laying that like they are out for the count. So I was in my car, just like I am right now, but I heard this, heard this, uh, it was like an accident, like just like a hit, like a bang. And the last time I heard something like that, yeah, it was just like a car accident. But th in this case, there was no car to be found. I look up and there's this, I guess, the guy that was walking along paths that was hooping and hollering and stuff. And I just know there's no way you're going to do CPR on this person and, and they're going to be okay. You know, based on the sound, it's like, poof, like an explosive sound. There's no way anyone's coming after that. So the car is like nowhere to be found, but the bike parts are like strewn for about, it seems like a hundred feet. The shoe is like way back here. The bike is like on the side of the sidewalk and there's like shrapnel all throughout the street. So this, this first guy that was there, he was hooping and hollering, jumping all around. And I was like, Oh shoot. I was hoping someone else would come, but no one else ever came. So after like two or three minutes, I'm like, all right, let me get out here. I wasn't going to go to the, the guy that was on the ground. I knew he was out. I knew he was gone. There's no way he's going to survive that. So I just like pulled my car probably about, about where the debris field started. I just parked there and I tried to like wave people out. I was like in the, in the third lane there trying to like wave people. First I was doing like the, the slow down type thing and that kind of worked, but I was trying to like direct them. So when they got within 50 feet, I was like doing something like this with my hand and they would understand, but no, like cars were coming fast. They were coming fast. And within, it seemed like five minutes, five to seven minutes, police were on the scene and then the fire engines and I could tell by the body language like if someone has a chance they usually get on them like immediately start doing some CPR but I could tell when people are like standing over the body ain't no way ain't no way they're just like standing over this guy and of course the white sheet was like laid down like shortly after that it was like you didn't have to be right there to see it was like not not a good situation so <coughs> I tried to gingerly leave but there was no gingerly leaving because the whole all the lanes were blocked right there was about seven police cars over there or something so I tried to like go out the the front way forward of where the, the incident took place and uh, police came he like bloop bloop lit me up he's like hey follow me I guess I had some questions for me but I had, I had nothing to say I saw nothing I saw nothing out here I heard heard a lot bang saw the homie that was there the first responder I call him the first responder because he was the first guy on the scene like without that guy no one would have came no one would have came I saw that guy out there so I was like, okay, I I probably need to help slow down traffic because without that, there would have been just cars running over the sky. I mean, at that point, he was gone anyways, but it would have been worse, a worse situation. See, I I did the interview with the police or the the investigator, and they could tell I was no help because I I really didn't see anything, so I, I took off. They didn't even, they didn't even card me because I didn't have it on me. I left all that stuff here. Left the keys, left the driver's license in the car. I, I answered honestly as I could, but I, I really didn't see anything. And I was asked like multiple times by different people, you know, and the only reason that they knew I was there is because I was the one that was like flagging people down. 
And then I like parked off in the parking lot and they noticed me. Police notice that kind of stuff. So they're like on the radio, like, Hey, white charger, where's he at? You know, what do you say? And so three different people asked me like, Hey, did you see it? Did you see it? Did you see it? No, no for all of them. I didn't see it, but I saw the after effects and yeah, they're probably going to be out there for a little bit doing the investigation, getting the responses and such and cleaning up all that debris that's in the street. I don't know if the bike was split in half, but I remember seeing handlebars and a wheel. I don't remember seeing like the seat cover was like over here where I was. The bike was like on the side. I don't remember seeing the back wheel. It was just like ceased to exist, you know? So yeah, that was, that was quite tragically violent right there. Quite violent. It's kind of crazy how chaotic and and not organized that was. It's like I should not be the second person on the scene without like wigwag lights. You know those lights that are like on police cars. I was barely able to slow down. I mean, I didn't slow anything down, but I, I was barely able to stop the cars that were coming for a second hit, you know, for round two. They're, like, coming right down. And a lot of people, they don't pay attention, right? And a lot of these bikers out here, these scooter riders, don't have any sort of any sort of bright clothing on. It's all black, 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 or, or dark clothing. So, yeah. Another life taken for no reason whatsoever. No reason. I'm not crying. I just have dry eyes here. I am a little shooketh up, though. I don't want to tell any falsehoods, but yeah, that's... I... About a couple months ago, there was a guy that was out in front of Planet Fitness who... I guess he collapsed. And I could tell by the people's reactions around them. Like, yeah, the person's gone. Kind of like with this situation, although I didn't need a group of people to read if this guy was gone, he was just like, when people lay down or fall down, it's like they still have a profile. You can still see them like their, their body with this homie. He was so on the ground. It looked like a blanket was just like in the street. Like that's how flat this guy was. Ooh. Yeah. This is mainly to just like, get through the thoughts here. It, it wasn't like too traumatic for me. It, it was just like, you know, you're not expecting people to just like be taken out. Just like, just like that. After that bang, it was like no more, no more peep out of the sky. I kind of want to work out, but I don't think the gym's open yet. I don't think the gym is open. All right, I'll I'll probably add some clips to this with some of the stuff. I try to get some shots. I don't want to be like disrespectful and and get in there. And that wouldn't have been good either. You don't want to see you know what was happening out there, the carnage and stuff, but just like the response from law enforcement, that was kind of interesting just to see firsthand, you know, what happens out there. All right. <clears throat> 